Hello and welcome back to the Whammy Cast. I am A and this is the Amnesia Walkthrough. In the last episode, we investigated a secret tunnel a prisoner made underneath a bed. Classic trick of um, escaping prison. Uh, we filled this glass jar here with some acid to burn through a lock. And last but not least, we thought it'd be kind of a good idea to hide from monsters that are trying to rip our faces off. Uh, well, I don't know if that would actually be to our benefit, but... Yeah, we, we thought it'd be a good idea. Just just in case. So go over there. There's a couple tinder boxes over there. There's a health potion right here. And let's uh, have a little fun while we're at it. Here, take this bag. Whoa. Also, if you drag this pig just the right way... It's really kind of tricky to do, but if you drag it just the right way, you can actually vaporize the pig. I've done it before, and it is so hard. Man. Um, I think you have to kind of glitch through. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying to waste my time to do this, but... <laughs> you know, it's always fun. Anyway, if you want to vaporize a pig anyway, you can just pick this one up and drop him in. He's dead. Got a long legs for a pig. Alright. Oh, speaking of pigs, Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Coming out soon. Looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll be scarier than this one, because this one doesn't scare me in the least. Alright, walking down the staircase. Alright, um, yeah, I don't think it's that way that we have to go. No, now I remember it's not... I suddenly remember where we have to go, and it's definitely not that way. It's over here. Alright, turn on the lantern. And put it away. Turn it on. <laughs> Who says we can't have a little fun while we're investigating a monster-infested haunted old castle with an evil person who tortures people? Okay, now go this way. Now go this way. Uh, ropes. Um, I don't think it's that way. Oh, yes, I guess it is, actually. I'm sorry, I know this is supposed to be a walkthrough, but this is by far the most confusing part of the entire thing. Um, actually, I don't think it is this way. I think I went the wrong way again. Dang it! Well, at least there's a page here. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. 
Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. That's kind of curious. Okay, I don't like walking in the dark, but it's... Oh, crap. Be do. Oh, man, there's not even a whole lot of... There's too much light in here. If he comes in here, I'm finished. I'm finished if he comes in here. I don't know, maybe not. This is pretty dark right here. Whew. Okay, I think he's gone. Now, as I was saying before some monster interrupted me, I don't like walking in the darkness, but I feel like it's my... <clears throat> I don't like walking in the darkness, but I feel as if it's my only protection against the monsters that lurk around every corner. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, this is the right way, down here. Uh oh, I heard footsteps. I heard some footsteps. I heard some footsteps. Okay, this here is the- oh, tinderbox. This here is the lock that we're gonna break with the thing. Do that, now use the hammer and the chipper. Now open this, and close it behind you right away, and run. And see, that wasn't so bad, right? <laughs> that was horrible. Okay, now, um, I do have some good news, though. I have really good news, actually. We get a break from the scary stuff for a little bit. So, uh, oh, flashback. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we weren't using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Okay, so over here there's a, a pipe called the oil drainage. Now you're gonna use the glass jar and click on the pipe with it. It's much easier than using the water. You can light the lantern now if things get too dark. As you can see, this lever over here, it's supposed to drop that ladder, but it's uh, kind of stuck, so we have to use the oil on the uh, lever. Now pull it down. Yep, another delay. <laughs> it's the pipe is blocking it, but it did knock the pipe loose, so you just keep doing that until the pipe breaks. <laughs> I know this seems really, really unprofessional, but, <laughs> but it, it it worked, and the ladder didn't break. Miracle. Alright, so now these, uh, these levers over here control the walkways. This one over here is broken. <laughs> so there's yet another thing we have to fix. <laughs> so this is the break from the scary stuff that I mentioned to you. Um, now uh, I'm gonna drain the water from the uh, from the sewers. So you go over uh, to where I just did to do that. All right, uh, flashback coming up. It's a uh, funny flashback, kind of I'm the best in the game. Oh, there it is. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. <laughs> ah, like water mills. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know why that's so amusing to me, but it just is. 
so over here there's a tinder box. You can grab that if you want. How many do I have? Oh, 53. Mario jump across here. And do some more Mario jumping over here. What the heck? Why did that randomly splash there? And I just decided to fall off, man. That's just sad. I was doing so good with my Mario jump, and then I just fell off when I wasn't even trying to jump. That's just kind of sad. A bit depressing. Let's see if I can parkour up here. <laughs> yep, there we go. One, two, three. Always helps to count. <laughs> There's another odd thing. Thing you do. And I spin this wheel over here. Oh, page. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Well, at least you pronounced everything else right. So, um, I'm gonna go over here. I don't know, maybe that's how the... Maybe that's how the British say Renaissance, but I don't know. I just don't know. Over here. So, wait! I am such an idiot. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's actually a good idea for you to be watching my walkthrough. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, so now spin this over here. There we go. One, two, three. Ow! What? Oh, God. I could have made that jump in real life. I heard a water lurker. It's not supposed to be here. Alright, I'll just take a health potion for that wound. This is bleeding quite badly. Daniel, it's a win. Alright, so you're gonna want to take this rock and do more, uh, do more ninja stuff. See this bridge up here? Dang it, I missed. So much for ninja stuff, right? Alright, well, there's always more rocks. And I just threw that. I'm clumsy today. I don't know what's, what my problem is. But, um, here, let's try it. Alright, got it. So now you go over here, jump, and jump again, and jump again, and try to jump across these without falling off. That's kind of tricky at times, but. Now walk across this little plank here, by the page right here. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Wow, 
So many rituals, so little time. Uh, it's about time I wrap things up. Um, so now you're gonna want to go um, to the final thing, which is actually guarded with some. Dang it, man! Actually guarded with some uh, steam pipes right here. Ha ha ha! Okay. Ow! Ah, oh, I hate those things. Go! Now you can spin this wheel that turns quite slowly to um, to kind of turn off the steam. Man, those things are annoying. Right, another page here. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Okay. So, um, wait, I, <laughs> I should, uh, next time I play this, I gotta remember to turn the wheels first and then read the pages. But then I might forget to read the pages. <laughs> Alright, final wheel. And with that, it's almost time that I wrap things up. Not quite, but almost. Hurry across here, and run down this way. Ah, heck, why am I lagging? All right. Let's now go over here. He waited for his eyes to adjust to the darkness, but no shape or contour. Well, I th think it's about time I wrap this video up. I'm not gonna get started on the next part because it's kind of complex and requires undivided attention. And I hate to say it, but um, from one video to another is dividing the attention. So, um, sorry, but uh, yeah, I ha have to end this now. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to push the like button. If you like the WhammyCast channel, uh, why not subscribe? And um, if you need further help with Amnesia the Dark Descent, there's more walkthroughs to come just up ahead. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.